to solve a nice problem, let's connect the given condition and the target expression. We know the first term times A equals the corresponding first term of the target expression times A. Similarly, the second term times B, we get the second term. The last term times A, we get the last term. So it may be a good idea to multiply the given condition by A plus B plus C. Plus B plus C. But wait, we need to make sure it is non-zero, right? Yes, we can prove that. So A plus B plus C cannot be zero. If A plus B plus C equals zero, then the left side of the given condition becomes A over B plus C would be negative A, right? Negative A. B over C plus A, negative B plus C over A plus B would be negative C. Then we get negative 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 1, negative 3, not equal to 1. That is the right side. So we get contradiction. So now both sides multiply by A plus B plus C. A plus B plus C times A over B plus C plus B over C plus A plus C over A plus B. The right side, A plus B plus C. For the first term, we multiply A to A. So we get A squared and then B plus C times A. The bottom still B plus C. For the second term, B times B. So we get B squared and then the remaining will be C plus A times B. The bottom, C plus A. The last term, C times A. So get C squared and then A plus B times C. The bottom, a plus B. The right side still A plus B plus C. Now write the first term as A squared over B plus C. For this part, cancel B plus C, so we get A. For the second term, B squared over C plus A, and cancel C plus A, we get plus B. The last term, C squared over A plus B. And here we cancel A plus B, so we get C. The right side, A plus B plus C. Now we can cancel A from both sides, B from both sides, C from both sides. Oh, we get A squared over B plus C plus B squared over C plus A plus C squared over A plus B equals zero. That is the final answer. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.